It was at this point that I remembered wires exist and everything is still connected to the control board. So it's time to open that up and start looking at how stuff's connected. The first and larger of the two control boards found in this enclosure is the XBuddy controller, which is the same one used in the Prusa Mark IV. This main board uses an ARM STM32F4 microcontroller. All of the connectors that you see around the board in the off-white color are Molex Clickmate. Going clockwise around the board, starting from the bottom left corner, we have the X, Y, Z left and Z right motors, MMU, a small battery, LCD in orange, neck extruder, accelerometer, power panic, power input, heated bed input, ethernet LAN, ESP connector, I2C, USB, and temperature sensor. In the middle, we also have the heated bed output and bed temperature sensor. We'll see a little later on how the three Z motors are controlled. The second and smaller PCB in the enclosure is the XBuddy extension board, and this uses an STM32H5 microcontroller. Again, going clockwise from the top left corner, we have extension, temperature, filament, fan 1, fan 2, fan 3, WLED, RGBW LED, PubCan, PubCan, XBuddy, and MMU connectors, as well as a USB on the left-hand side. With all those wires removed, I then fish out the fan wires through the gantry plate, and then the gantry plate can be removed from the rest of the printer, and we'll take a look at that in detail in a moment. 